Hey everyone, it's Quaveth. I'm just making another video. I had a lot of questions from people asking how they can have multiple installations and switch between them. Uh, so today I'm going to go over what the switch batch does and how you can use it to switch between either multiple different private servers or private servers in retail. Uh, it works pretty similarly for all of those scenarios. There's a little bit of an extra step that you're going to have to take in order to get it to work for retail and private servers together, but all private servers should be able to, you can just use the switch file. No problem. You don't have to make any changes. So, uh, wait until the very end of the video. If you're playing retail or you want or interested in learning how to get your retail install to work properly. And I'll go over that with you. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is kind of break down what the switch bat really is. And in order to do that, I'm just going to pull up the code for it and show you exactly what it does. So, Let's see here. We're going to open the switch. It's right here. I have mine named switch to wings. Uh, I also have this one's named switch to retail, but we'll, we'll do the wings one. So the code itself is not very, you know, it's not a very sophisticated program. It's not doing anything crazy. Basically it tells you exactly what it's going to do. So this bat's going to re-register um, your FF11 DLL, FF11 mains, and FF11 versions.dll for the folders install. So basically what that means is it's going to go on your computer and it's going to change some registry keys. So when you launch Final Fantasy 11, the game is going to look for the registry keys where you have your game files installed. So for instance, um, and these are going to look pretty similar on every single installation. Um, all installs are going to look more or less the same and they're always going to be named Final Fantasy 11 in all caps. And as you can see, these look pretty similar. Uh, this one's a little bit different because I have an extra Ashita folder, but nothing too major. Um, and the most important thing that you need to know when using these switch bats is that you always, always, always have to have the switch bat in a folder right before an installation. Always, no matter what. So you can name the base folder whatever you want. You don't even necessarily have to name the second one Square Enix. But anytime there's a Final Fantasy XI folder and that's where the install is that you want to use, if those are the files you want to use, you need to have the switch in the folder before it. Always, no matter what. So that being said, we're going to go through ahead and just kind of show you what it exactly does. So we went through the code. It's nothing intimidating. It's going to change your registry keys. So the one for private servers, it does something that I don't necessarily think needs to happen. Um, on this one, it's just going to change because I already edited it, but it's just going to change where your Final Fantasy 11 folder is and where your Tetra Master installation is. And really, it doesn't need even Tetra Master. So if you go to your registry, you'll be able to find your registry keys for your Final Fantasy 11 installation. This is what it should look like. This one, I was just playing Wings last in my Wings installation, so it says the file path users alex desktop wings installation final fantasy 11 and then wings tetra master on my wings installer or my wings switch bat i mean i don't have it changing my play online because i always keep my play online in my program files because that's where retail sets it by default and since it's a private server wings doesn't use play online so we don't need to change this registry key at all so i removed that from the wings switcher here and I'm probably going to remove that entirely from all of them since none of the private servers need to change the installation path for the play online. And it all, all it's going to do is mess up anybody who's trying to play retail using a switch bat when they don't even need it. It's not necessary. So it does that and then it changes the reg edit of where those uh, DLL files will be looked for as well. So it looks for these DLL files in this folder. And that's this is the meat of what makes your game launch and work is these registry edits right here that's all this program does it just changes the registries registry files in the computer to point to a different folder where the installation is being used so we were using the wings one here so what we'll do is we're going to use the uh, switch to retail bat so make sure no matter what whenever you launch one of these always run it as administrator you have to run it as administrator or it won't work so it just asks you to press any key. You press the key, it makes its changes. 
and you won't see them updated immediately in your registry. What you'll need to do is refresh the page somehow. You can just switch into a different folder and look back. Now it says retail install. So now I would be using all the files from my retail install, which is this folder here. And it's gonna look for this installation right here. And whenever I launch the game, it'll use those files instead of the ones in this folder right here. So let's say I wanna go back to wings. I'll just do the same thing I did with the other bat. We'll run this one as administrator, press a key. It does its thing. We go back, look in here, look at that. Now it says wings install, wings install. And let's launch one. Um, I'm gonna set, do another video here in just a few, uh, detailing what you can do with your Sheeta. But for now, I'm just gonna log into Wings real quick. We'll just move this off the screen, log in. And I'll even show you how you can tell that it worked. So we're gonna log into Wings. Here we go. So you'll be able to see your version right here, or you can go into game and type slash VER, and it'll also tell you what your version is. Our Wings version runs on 3019030 underscore zero. So let's jump in here, and I'll show you you can do it in game too. Welcome to GM land. Sorry, my sound is a little bit loud. Oops, what am I doing? Sorry, my keyboard is freaking out a little bit. I'll turn my sound settings down. Just recently did a reinstall on all this so I could do it fresh for you guys. Just wanted to make sure everything would work exactly the way it was planned to work. But anyway, yeah, slash VR. Bam, there's your version. So let's log out. And now we're going to switch to retail. Perfect. That's done. We can look in our registry. Looks like the retail installs what's being used now. So I'm going to log back into Wings just because it's a little bit faster. Just to show you guys the version. Because if I log into retail, I've got to go through play online and all that, whereas I can jump in instantly here. And I already looked on the bottom and I could see that the version was different, but it's a little bit more visible for the video if I do it in game. So let's do that. Bam, 302.104.24 underscore zero. So you can see that the version changed over. So now it's using the files that's in that other folder and they have a totally different version that it runs on. So perfect. We are all set. And that's all there is to it. You just have to make sure that, like I said, it's always in a folder in front of a Final Fantasy 11 folder and that you switch in between them before you uh, jump onto each server. And you can actually go as far as to have both of them up at the same time. So you can run both versions simultaneously if you wanted to play on Wings and Eden at the same time. What you would do is you would run whatever switch that you wanted to launch first, launch that, get logged in, and then you can run the switch on the other one and then log into that one while the other one's still running and you can switch between them, no problem. So the only extra step that I have here for you guys is for people who want to do retail, like I mentioned in the uh, beginning of the video, the main thing that you're gonna wanna concern yourself with is you see here how this changed over to a different file name. That's because on my switch to retail, I didn't change part of the text file. And it's very important that you do this if you're gonna be using this with retail. So on here, you're gonna see this part here right here so right here it's changing the registry entry to where your uh, play online viewer is and like I said earlier in the video your play online viewer is always going to be in your program files so what you're going to want to do if you're doing this with retail is you can open this uh, 
the source code up in pretty much any text editor. You can even go so far as to use the basic notepad if you want to, which, you know what, I'll even do that for the sake of just showing you guys, although it's not going to let me just open it with, uh, well, that's annoying. I have this set as my default for that now, so it won't let me open with, but yeah, you can even open it in just a basic text file, like a TXT. Um, this is Notepad Plus, so this basically does the same thing. So if you're using a retail one, just delete that. You don't need it to change that over for you. When you installed retail, the, uh, the registry entry is gonna be set for that to be in your program files, which mine, I'm gonna have to go back and fix this manually now, but that's okay. Otherwise, my retail, it won't uh, won't launch because it won't know where to look for my play online files, which are my program files, not in this folder here where it thinks it is. So other than that, you guys should now know exactly how to use this uh, switch bat. And I hope this helps people because I know we have a lot of people who are wanting to try the server out, but didn't want to, you know, sabotage their Eden install or their retail install. They want to be able to switch freely back and forth. And I don't want you guys to think there's a high barrier of entry. It's literally just download the uh, different install, run the installer, put it wherever you want, put this batch file in there, and you can switch between those servers, no problem. Anyway, I'm going to record the next video. I'll see you guys in the next one.